Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to have a look at a budget uh, PC that uh, can run games pretty good on high settings. So this is the case, it is from uh, Deepcool, which uh, was like uh, 30 euros or something like that. And um, inside we have uh, old and uh, new components. So. This was my old PC and uh, I have uh, remade it for uh, it in order to play uh, today's games. So this is a Segotep PSU. I think it has, uh, yeah, right, uh, 600 uh, watts. But it's not certified, it was pretty cheap. Again, like uh, 35 euros. And uh, here I have a very old hard drive. Uh, like uh, 640 gigabytes and another one that is almost dying I'm not using it uh, we have a Messi, M, a Messi GTX uh, 1050 not Ti so it has only 2 gigabytes but it uh, it does the job pretty good as you will see and uh, the my main board is an MSI so uh, it supports uh, core to quad. It's on L LGA five five uh, uh, seven seven five. So we have core to quad Q sixty six hundred, and again a pretty decent cooler. Again from a deep cool, like the case is made, which is not huge. It's pretty small, but uh, it gets the job uh, pretty easily done, and it was like. Uh, 15 euros so the case is uh, pretty nicely ventilated so it has a pretty decent airflow I don't know why I can't set the fans though so it runs uh, every time at 100% but uh, the temperatures are fine and uh, yeah we have also 8 gigabytes of RAM here which are running at uh, 800 megahertz so that's DDR2 so in terms of actual performance we have um, some I have some games installed so which I'm going to test now so the CPU is running at 3 gigahertz overclock um, as you can see 3061 megahertz when uh, it jumps like this so we are going to start with Fallout 4 so pretty new games well not extremely new but that are still playable today so we play at full HD and uh, at medium and high settings and with all the effects and uh, here is uh, everything pretty much set low to get a consistent experience with no freezes. So let's see. So I could have used the shadow play, but I wanted the experience to be more uh, like in real life. So that shadow play, it's some frames per second, not much, but I just wanted uh, this test to be accurate. So we're uh, running around here, we have um, most of the time 60 frames per second, but let's activate this. Sometimes it may drop. When doing intense stuff. But the experience is overall pretty nice pretty enjoyable and uh, I don't think anyone will have any issues playing this game in uh, areas such as cities with uh, a lot of buildings to render and a lot of stuff going on here there will be less frame rate obviously but uh, still not uh, a huge issue so it does not drop 
under uh, 40 frames per uh, 30 frames per second which is still pretty nice so uh, we'll jump uh, to the next game So we are going to test Overwatch at uh, Ultra settings, so you can see the settings here, at Full HD, so let's see how well this PC can handle this game. So here we have uh, pretty high frames per second. But let's see in intense scenarios how well it will perform. So it, uh, ha the game is uh, very pleasant to play, it has a pretty stable frame rate with uh, very occasional stutters. So yeah, no problems here, very nice experience, let's go to the next game. Okay, so the last game I want to try is Grand Theft Auto 5. So let's see what are the settings for this, so full HD. Okay, this is not good. Okay, full screen now. We have uh, high settings most of them and uh, the advanced graphics are uh, turned off again to get the most of this uh, gaming experience the most frame rate so it is incredible uh, that this game runs so good so we see the frame rate jumping a bit around between uh, <clears throat> 40 and uh, 50 frames per second which is not a good uh, uh, which is not a bad thing because uh, this means that it can be playable without that it can be played without any major issues So let's try to heat the things up a bit. Maybe create some explosions. Okay. And also have a fight with the police. Will that explode? Well, let's try to get my car. It 
takes quite a while to explode. Well, even I think the explosions would have uh, made uh, the frames drop a bit, but not by a lot. So, so far so good. This is really nice for a PC, for a processor this old which might uh, bottleneck the graphics card in some games my guess is that it bottlenecks the GPU even here but the important thing is that the experience is not ruined I didn't see any lag spikes or major frame drops here so yeah it works pretty nice in uh, also in areas that are not in the city will i expect to get more frame rates so that's about it the pc i think it's a very good one if you can find uh, the components for cheap and for uh, GTX 1080 uh, 1050 you can uh, also get like something like 750 Ti if you find it uh, cheaper and uh, from a source that you know that is trustworthy so thank you very much guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you next time peace